That's one thing about New Orleans. I don't know, it's like we, something in our water or something, you know, to bring the soul, you know? We started young together and we always vision of, you know, be the best band on the street. My name is Benny Pete. I'm the leader of the Hot 8 Brass Band. Being the leader of the Hot 8 Band is definitely a full-time job, you know. As a young kid, he was always quiet, man, and it's like, man, it messes us up, man, because uh, we're thinking he's gonna come with this big old D verse and be like, <laughs> what's up, Benny? Hey, man, how you doing? And we'll be like, what? No, man. The band is the extended family. Everybody like brothers from other mothers. We all hooked up as kids, you know what I'm saying? We used to do things and stuff together, so the chemistry was always there. You know, I always thought I had eight brothers, you know, and knew that I had eight brothers that I could count on. The band is my family, and we've been through a lot. Jacob Johnson, he was one of our trumpet players. He was murdered in a, in a BW Cooper housing development. Joseph Williams, he was murdered in a six war on St. Philip and Robinson. Daenerys Shavers, he was murdered in a seven war. We, we took some serious blows uh, as far as musicians and we, we were mourning because we we all we have. I took it real hard, me, myself. Kind of lost my mind a little. Yeah, everything about it is overwhelming. It's something that you really never get over. You're always thinking about it. Really, I couldn't do nothing personally but just try to pray about it and ask the Lord, you know, help me understand it. You know, what can I do in my power? That's what, you know, the band as a whole, that's what we always, whenever we lost a band member, we was trying to find a, a way really to deal with it and a way to not not break up behind it. You know, we wanted to always stick together. That was the that was the bottom line. You know, we wanted to stick together and we wanted to do it for the guys that was lost. The band just getting back together mentally. Music is, a, is, is like a medicine. It's a, it gives us a healing process. You know, like they say, music calms the savage beast. You know, we had to find that out and find how to turn negatives and positives and then use it as our, our uh, way of freeing ourselves, you know, without being all upset. I strongly feel that to end, it, to end this violence, we gotta get to the kids and we gotta get to them early and more on, on a level where, where they can relate, you know what I'm saying? That's why we feel it's so important, you know, as a hot aid and as musicians to use the music because they can relate to music. It's a lot of responsibility that, that we have to carry on for um, the band members. We knew what kind of community we come from and we knew that the music culture is here and music is in everyone, so it's just a matter of just tapping into your own creativity. We'll just break our horns out and just play in the neighborhoods and get the kids to come out and we'll hand out flyers for our workshop to really draw them in and just show them that band, you know, music is cool. You know, music is cool and if you have love for this, this will love you back. A kid should have every opportunity in the world other than hanging on the street and watching this guy smoking or watching this dude shooting. I think kids shouldn't have all that fear. You take their hand from the trigger and put it on the trumpet. I try my best to play to where I could put a change in their heart. It make me feel real good. <laughs> it really do. It's, it helps us as a group and individuals to continue to do what we do. Because it's, it's concrete, it's solid. You, you know, you're seeing, you're seeing a difference, you're seeing a change being made in their life. It's great that I can make people laugh and cry from something that I'm playing through my horn, you know? We 
teaching these kids one at a time. Once they get it, they will help us reach their peers, and we also help reach their parents and reach their family members. See that New Orleans can be one big, better place for everybody. That's one thing for me and Ahadi was really interested in doing, choose to flip the script. Whenever we sounding good, you know, me, you know, I just look up and I just see them, or I just look to the left or to the right, and they'll still be there. These guys that left us ain't never leave us. They here. Like our music angels or something, you know. 